Sunday, federal and state investigators finished going over the site of the plane crash just outside Lake Placid. We just completed the on-scene phase uh, right now. And that is we're, we're documenting the perishable information, i.e. that information that once the aircraft leaves or the weather changes, that, that information changes. So that's what we've been doing. The plane was removed around 1.30 Sunday afternoon to take it to a state police facility where investigators will go through individual components of the plane. We're going to be looking at the engine and the propeller. They'll also incorporate what they learned from talking to witnesses, studying the crash site, and examining pieces of the plane. We were looking at the condition of everything. Uh, we're also looking at, at, at examples of, of where an aircraft may have hit, how it might have hit, um, uh, what happens after it hits. So we're looking at, at, a, at a number of different th things. We're primarily now collecting factual information, not doing analysis. Just before the crash, the airport manager says two planes were approaching the same runway coming from opposite directions since the winds were calm. He says they saw each other in plenty of time and veered off to the right as they were supposed to. One plane came around and landed safely. The other, he says, still had the landing gear down and may have had the flaps down. He said if that's the case, it would have likely been hard to reattain a safe airspeed. New York State Police say the plane banked very hard and climbed very steeply, leveling off at about 200 feet, then spiraling down and crashing about a quarter mile from the end of the runway. Investigators say they still have a lot of evidence to collect before they even begin to analyze it and figure out what happened. While it will take a while to get the analysis, the NTSB investigator says in about 10 days they'll release the basic facts they've collected so far. Four to six months after that, we will put out a factual report, which takes that first information and adds to it. And up to a year later, we'll come out of probable cause and analysis.